Hey guys, it's Mark from Migrant Professional and today I want to talk about um, leaky gut and the less known leaky brain and how they kind of contribute to migraines and headaches. So what's important to know is that, um, so leaky brain is basically, so we have our, our entire gut, so our uh, sort of intestinal lining is a big giant tooth from our mouth to our butt. Um, and so this is, it's actually semi-permeable. It's like a tight mesh. So it's supposed to let nutrients in, it's supposed to keep pathogens and chemicals and toxins out, right? So that, that semi-permeable membrane combined with our um, beneficial bacteria kind of protect us. They form our immune system and protect us and keep us safe. In the brain, we have a similar tissue. It's like a mesh and it keeps out all these different um, particles that are in the blood but should not be in the brain space. And in many cases, there's things in the blood that should not be in the blood either. Um, and so these need to be finely regulated because um, if in, in leaky brain, these, um, the mesh starts to open up and if bigger molecules can get in, um, big molecules like uh, gliadin and uh, gluten, if they can get into the brain space, uh, they could trigger an immune reaction. And so then our immune system uh, will go on and it'll start attacking these molecules inside the brain space, um, create inflammation in the brain, create neuroinflammation, and then just add to the burden of the brain, which, which we really don't want, especially when we've um, become so fragile that we started to develop migraines and headaches. Our brain is already on the edge. It's battling with, with um, sort of tiny little wins and losses. So we want to take as many wins as we can get um, and, and make sure that we avoid anything that can kind of uh, contribute to leaky brain. And so that's things like um, stress, high stress. Um, and, and so when we think of stress, we want to think of total physiological stress, not just emotional stress, not just... Um, stress from your family or your work or whatever, financial stress. We want to think of total stress. Um, so you're thinking electromagnetic stress from your phones and outlets and uh, computers and things like that. You want to think of physical stress from either structural changes, musculoskeletal, musculoskeletal tightness, um, overworking out in the gym, all these different stresses, things like uh, dietary stress and, and chemical stress from things you breathe in and um, all those stresses contribute to our total stress levels. And then you want to think of things like um, sleep. Sleep is a really big factor that goes into either giving our brain resilience or kind of setting it up and adding to its stress and throwing off our hormones and developing a bunch of problems. So we want to make sure that we tune in our sleep and we get as much sleep as we can get to kind of give our brain that reset. We want to get really high quality sleep, not just quantity, not just 12 hours. Um, we want to get really high quality sleep. We want to make sure that we're in deep sleep and we're ready for the sleep. And so we're getting sleep between 10 and 6. So that's the sweet spot um, to repair our, our physical and our, our mental processes. Uh, and then avoiding things like alcohol, these, these toxins like alcohol and pesticides, um, antibiotics and that cause dysbiosis, those all kind of contribute to creating problems and, and um, leaky brain and creating problems inside the brain space. Um, so let me know, like, have you noticed any um, connections between the foods that you eat and things like brain fog, even if it's not just migraines and headaches, but maybe brain fog, tiredness, mood issues, um, kind of mental and emotional issues that are connected to your food. I mean, I know if I miss a meal or two, I'm, I, I'm on the wrong side of the pillow, you know? Um, so have you noticed um, how food affects you in that way? And have you noticed how, um, let's say, maybe your brain affects your digestive system? Um, so we know the gut-brain axis is, is very tightly knit. Um, so they're constantly... Um, controlling each other. Uh, so let me know in the comments below um, and click the subscribe button if, if you want to have more um, sort of get more content to your inbox and learn more about how migraines um, can be dealt with systemically and, and holistically by addressing mind and body issues.